Hello YouTube, this is EN559Fresno and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, uh, iPad 1, iPod Touch 3rd generation and iPod Touch 4th generation uh, from version 4.3.5 down to 4.3.3, whatever version you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you need your SHSH saved and I'm going to show you how to find out which SHSHs you have saved. Alright, so first things first, get whatever device you want to downgrade, plug it into your computer. When iTunes opens up, just exit it out. Alright, so you're getting two files. One is Tiny Umbrella, and then the other is the firmware file you want to downgrade to. Uh, if you don't know what SHSHs you have saved for which firmware, uh, just download Tiny Umbrella and we'll find out what firmware you can downgrade to. Alright, so once you download Tiny Umbrella, open it up. <coughs> And then you'll see this. Just uh, give it some time. It'll say request SHSH. So just say OK and OK. And go to this left corner where it says connected devices. Click on whatever device you have. And then hit save SHSH. And down here it'll be uh, like finding all your SHSHs. Right here are the SHSHs it found, found or finds for you. So just give it some time for it to completely search and mm, the search is over for me and I only have these two SHSHs. Obviously I'm on 4.3.5 so I don't want to downgrade or stay the same. I want to downgrade to 4.3.3 so I'm going to choose that. Uh, you, whatever, if you came from my Air 1015 video, you need to pick a firmware 4.3.3 or below. Uh, preferably 4.2.1, 4.3, 4.3.1, you know, 4.3.2, 4.3.3, those firmwares. Uh, and the benefit is you get non-tethered jailbreak as well. Alright, so once you know which SHSHs you have saved, pick the one uh, that you can downgrade to and then download the firmware for it. Links will be in the description. <clears throat> Alright, so once that's done, hit start TSS server. And you'll see a little check mark right here, uh, and then minimize it. Don't exit out. Minimize. All right. So next step is to put your iPhone, iPod, or iPad into DFU mode. If you don't do this, you're gonna get error 20. So just get your iPad and power it off. Make sure it's plugged in before. <clears throat> All right. So it powered off. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little heads up and then you can follow along. If we're going to be putting your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch into DFU mode. Doing this will erase all of your data, so uh, proceed at your own risk. Alright, you're going to need to hold the power button for about three seconds. You'll see the Apple logo. As soon as you see it, just hold both the power and the home button uh, at the same time. And then it'll power off again. You're going to wait like two seconds after it powers off again and then you're going to release the power button but continue holding the home button. <clears throat> Sounds easy so let's get started. Hold the power button and you see the Apple logo now hold both the power and the home button. It's going to power off. Alright, powered off. Hold it for a couple more seconds then release the power button. Continue holding the home button. Just continue holding it and then you might hear like a little beep. Just continue holding it until iTunes opens up and iTunes will open up. You can, oops. You can uh, set the i, I device aside and you're going to see iTunes blah 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 just hit OK and now you're going to select the firmware that you want to downgrade to so what you're going to do is find the shift key on your computer hold it and then uh, you're going to drag the mouse to where it says restore and then uh, let me get it to focus and then just click the restore button right here. As you're holding the shift key, this will pop up. Just hit desktop. Uh, or wherever your firmware is downloaded to. And then see, I'm going to select the 4.3.3 because that's what I want to downgrade to. It'll say iTunes will erase and restore your iPad to, you know, the firmware version you want to downgrade to. So just hit restore. It's going to say extracting software. And it's going to restore right now.
Alright, preparing iPad, iPhone, whatever for a restore. You'll see that and then your iDevice should light up and it's going to start restoring right now. Oops. See, it's going to start restoring by itself. The computer will say preparing iPad for restore. Uh, just ignore all that. Leave everything plugged in and alone. You don't want to mess it up. Alright, it's just going to be restoring the software, it's going to take a while, so I'll probably cut this part out if I get a chance. Uh, if I don't get it. Alright, looks like we're finished. If you had an iPhone, it's going to give you error 1015, don't worry about it. I know you guys probably hate that error by now. Uh, I'll show you what to do. If you have an iPad, you're pretty much done. Uh, you're iPad's gonna start up and everything's gonna be all good, just leave it plugged in. If you have an iPhone, uh, I'm not restoring an iPhone right now, but I can show you what to do. Once it restarts, it's gonna look like it's gonna take a long time. Don't worry, it's not, it's gonna go really quick. Watch. See? Alright, just let it start up. Uh, on the iPad, that doesn't mean it's bricked. I'm just uh, letting you know. See, that doesn't mean anything, but on the iPhone, if you got the error 1015, you just minimize iTunes, and then you're going to go where it says connected devices. Uh, it's going to depend on what version you downgraded to. If you did the 4.3.3 restore, you're going to need to go and uh, go back to my other video. Link will be right here. Link right here on this annotation. Uh, and click on that video, and it'll teach you how to downgrade or I basically fixed the error 1015 after you've downgraded to 4.3.3 or below. And after you do that, your iPhone will be fixed. If you get error 60,000 MS, again, it means that you your downgrade wasn't successful, although you, it shouldn't give you that error again. Alright, hope you liked watching this video. Please uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Any video suggestions, uh, just shoot me a private message. Thank you.